I'm in Manila for the weekend to meet some friends and I'm gonna have a meeting with JM because we'll be discussing a bunch of projects that we want to do together. So I'm gonna meet him now. I'm about to leave and book my grab. <laughs> it's a rainy day and your music is that. <laughs> I realized I didn't really talk much in this vlog so I figured I'd just do a voiceover. Basically, this vlog consists of a whole lot of food. Just visiting places that I used to frequent in when I was still living in Mandaluyo and there was still no pandemic. I met up with JM to discuss some things because we had to make a proposal for a project. We also discussed a bunch of things that we want to work on together because as always we're frustrated artists and we want to create something. Currently I still really enjoy living in Laguna but I can say that I miss Manila's food, like the restaurants, the cafe. We ordered food from Panaderia and some ramen from Poison Donuts. Actually, we knew that they had ramen, but it was surprisingly good. portable lamp in olive green so take a look at it <laughs> so cute look at this it has three three it has three settings one two and then three we also checked out afro living it's also still in the alley at caravan and they house a lot of or design home accessories. You know, this is a really good thing. Yeah, that's true. Like, Get it's, it. It's, this, it's the exact amount of vintage and like yuppiness. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine this used to be filled with so much people. 
Yung ano, Cinco de Mayo. Do you remember? The crazy. So we went to Abby Ten instead. Abby Ten is like one of my go-to places to eat whenever I'm in Poblacion and I got surprised that they actually expanded and it's bigger now. The food is still really super good and I hate myself for not checking out the new menu because apparently they had oysters. And I've been craving for oysters. I still haven't gotten oysters. I didn't really do much the next day. I just stayed in, but I went out for dinner with my sister, her boyfriend, and my friend Ed. I've been wanting to take my sister to Lampara because Lampara is one of my favorite restaurants in Makati. Pablo Sean still. so good and the desserts are to die for. cousin offered to pick me up so I stayed till Monday in Manila and squeezed in a meeting with Sab and Diego because we're all working on a project together. This is my go-to cafe when I used to live in Mandaluyong because it's near and the coffee and the food is pretty decent. I liked working around here and it felt nice to be able to have a meeting and work with friends in this cafe again. So that's basically it. Let me know if you like this video and thanks for watching.